Hey there folks, my name's Terency and welcome back to another DCSS Sunday. Today we're of course jumping right back into the usual routine trying to get a win with every deity in the game and where we last left off. We'd had a pretty fantastic start to our null run, ended up following Nemlex after not being able to find Ash and Zari in our original uh, Economical Temple unfortunately, but hey it all worked out pretty well for us, at least so far. But of course who knows what the dungeon has in store, so without further ado, let's get ready to hop right into it, shall we? Good old Nathan, we did just find the orange crystal plate armor as well, which is always a, a favorite on Randart of mine for sure. Don't know if we'll be able to actually be casting too many spells with this run, at least not until pretty close to the end, just that being how gnolls are and all that, but still pretty awesome, bringing us to a very fantastic defense here overall. So yeah, let's, I guess, just jump back into it. We'd gone both of our first two runes, um, so usually this means we're going to vaults, I guess. Um, we could also head back. I believe we left parts of Orc 1 unexplored because Elroca and Snorg were a bit too strong at the time when we originally made our way up that direction. So you know what, maybe that's a, a bit better of a nice warm-up, just get back into the swing of things here. I do think I might swap out some of our rings though. We were testing the wizardry, seeing if that did make things castable, and it's pretty close. You know, in an emergency, 16% failure blink. Hopefully not too much of an emergency, because that could very easily fail on us, but we'll see how it goes. Also, hey Roga, how's it going? And yeah, so let's switch out the wizardry ring, probably for protection from fire, just so we have a little bit of overall resistances set up here. And let's make our way back up to work, shall we? Fantastic. So it's down here, and let's not head up a one-way trapdoor stairs, and instead this should just about get us there. We do pretty well with our current mace. One thing to keep in mind here potentially is to not get overwhelmed just because we only can attack one person at a time unfortunately. So picking our targets well here, I probably should have taken out the uh, sorcerer first. But there we go. Once they're out of the way, then no one else is really a big deal for us here. And hopefully the rest kind of fall into line in that same way as well. In fact, yeah, I'll bring just Snorg down because the rampaging troll can very easily go out of control. And that should pretty much do the trick. Fantastic. Oh, a bunch of elves and orcs hanging out together. What a world we live in. Um, I do have electricity resistance, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm wondering, we're taking a bit more damage than I would have expected here. Potentially should just whip out the Tin of Tremor Stones, take care of some of these squishy mages here real quick. Fantastic. Also does a decent amount of work on the elementals, it seems. And let's start. Just heading out a little ways, I'm slightly concerned about the Orc Knight here, so just want to be cognizant of that, careful, all that good stuff. Make sure we don't get taken out on what was supposed to be the nice kind of warm-up introduction back into the run here. At least if we can help it, and fantastic. And I guess then it really is just vaults be there next. I think we're fairly well prepared. We have cold resistance for the icebound. They're not preservers. Frostheart? <laughs> Something like that? Oh, I always mix up the various synonyms in all the creatures in this game. But regardless, let's head that direction and hopefully we fare a little bit better than we do than we did in that orc. At least when we're comparing how it's going versus how we expect it. And decent start against the axe here. We don't have Reflection Brand, unfortunately. In fact, I believe this Acrobat Amulet is the only one we found all game. 
probably there had to have been some others, right? Some for sale, apparently, but nothing really great here. I'm looking for regen or reflection. Those are usually my top two go-tos. Ooh, I will, however, take a scroll of fear. That is fantastic. And what do I drop out for that? I mean, I don't know if we're going to be going back to our demon with the freezing. Pretty happy with this morning star we have going right now. I mean, if we fully enchant up the Demon Whip, then it attacks faster and is only slightly less damage, so... Could be an argument to be made there, but for the time being, let's drop that son of a gun. I mean, looking at my inventory right after I pulled the trigger there, we do have, like, poison darts that are extremely unlikely to be of any use whatsoever at this stage in the game. But we'll hold on to them for now. Uh, and see, this is definitely more damage than I was expecting right away here. So that's not great. I was hoping we'd get through most of the at least standard monsters that are just heavy hitters. 44 AC. I guess not 26 evasion. We actually have, there we go, 11 evasion when the amulet is inactive. So I was definitely expecting a little more defensive potential at the very least but that's fine i'm not going to get to that buddy before they call in their friends so we're just going to play it a little bit on the safe side we can actually just take all these sons of guns on a little bit of a road trip here fortunately we don't need to worry about getting banished because of the excessive willpower that we've managed to attain over the course of this run so far oh i don't like that this Vault buddy is mited. In fact, oh, phoning friends again. That's not good. And this time they actually got a few ranged buddies. I mean, on the flip side, it seems like the rest of them are at least fairly squishy, so there's some hope. The ranged buddies, of course, just being a consideration because if we tried to run away, then that could very easily cause us some trouble. But let's phone in a friend of our own, first and foremost. And, hmm, what's in our stack? Next up is Cloud. If we describe draw a stack, does it tell me what else? Cloud and Tomb. See, Tomb would have been nice a few moments ago if I had had the uh, mental faculty to actually realize that this was going to turn into a little bit more of an ordeal than I originally expected. But let's deal for from destruction here. Um, orb, I will send to you. Pain, I will send... I think it's piercing, so I can shoot upwards here and hopefully hit both these sons of guns. And last but not least... What do I have here? What am I aiming? Unfortunately, I can't see the log. And I think it might be above, or I'm just missing something here, one or the other. Um, I guess regardless? Ah, vitriol. Very nice. Um, we do have slow on a decent amount of our new friends here, so that is half decent in its own right. Slightly concerned that the simulacrums are dealing more damage than I would like. There we go. I had to pull out a few more tips and tricks than I would have liked, but we do manage to get through in one piece. Just need to maybe be slightly more cautious here. I do really want to check out that amulet, but we'll have to wait until at least a little bit more of the floor is cleared just to make sure that we don't put ourselves into a nasty situation. Ghost of James there, one of our lovely genie attempts previous runs here and I would like this convoker to be a little more vulnerable here I guess we could go with javelins yeah it's not looking great so let us let all these sons of guns come into the fray here and then we'll just throw out a bit more destruction potentially bunch of degeneration here maybe another vitriol no it was not another vitriol interesting well 
can I take these on? The issue is if the, all the slimes start merging together right away here, we could very quickly go from, ah, oh, this is maybe okay, to oh gosh, oh gosh, everything is going wrong. So I'm just gonna deal four again. We're gonna try to use our abilities a bit more actively here, seeing as how I usually end up with a few more um, cards than I need at the very least. Let us okay take the slimes so that they're not grouped up in something that's hitting quite that hard, and that's perfect. Nothing we can't handle here. Fantastic. Dire Elephant should also be fine. Oh, right. We have regen coming from our, I want to say our gloves, maybe? Yes, it is our gloves. So that's why we're able to sustain ourselves throughout these fights a little bit better than we otherwise might. Um, Thunder Hulk, we usually want to walk towards us here, though Dire Elephants are no joke either, especially when I just stupidly take steps around them without actually getting anything done. Whoopsie daisies. But perfect. Nothing we can't handle, and that should pretty much get us there in terms of enough of the floor being explored that we can safely step on that alarm trap and see what that amulet was all about. And we're hoping, desperately hoping, or something like probably regen is my number one option if we can stack regen along with what we already have going for us here oh geez louise i mean we're gathering cards pretty dang quickly so this actually works out i would like to take out this uh warden as soon as possible though of course just need to let the storm do its thing. Just a moment here. Perfect. Yeah, an orb at you should just about do the trick. Fantastic. See, that's a bit more like it. When your deal four can just wipe out the entirety of the threat, then you're in a pretty fantastic spot, I'd say. Not too shabby. Oh, I feel like it's been a long time since we found a treasure trove. I mean, it's probably going to be asking for something unreasonable, but there's always a chance it just wants me to, like, show it a rune or something. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh. <laughs> well, how about that? Trove requires the presence of the slimy rune. I mean, I wasn't originally going to go to slime. This was probably going to be a uh, an abyss run, if I had to guess going into it, just because we're hoping that we'll have the... Uh, sustainability to make that happen i guess we could potentially think about slime we just need to have some more consistent source of aoe unfortunately if we want to have any reliable ability to take care of our slimy friends let's check it out it's not regen unfortunately but we do get an amulet of reflection which can immediately put on, give us a little bit more shielding, as well as slightly better defenses against all of the ranged friends that we find here in vaults. Vaults is usually a pretty good spot. More reflection, also get that mouse out of there. And probably should have seen that one coming. Ooh, and the Convoker boning friends is not great either. I mean, we kind of got dispersed into a slightly better configuration here. So that kind of works out for us. Still concerned about being able to take everyone out here without t significant losses on our own health pool. So let's play it slightly safe once again here. And we will throw orbs out to our heart's content and a bit of vitriol as well doesn't hurt. Oh, you're phoning more friends. Oh, jeez. <laughs> when convokers convoke more convokers, you then get convoking. That's rough. <laughs> um, Tremor Stones, I don't think is going to do a lot of work for us either. Actually, better than I thought. I know that it is weakened quite a bit by armor class, and most of those buddies have fairly decent armor. I guess the flip side of that is that... Our evocations has been training this whole time. You know, perks of being a null here. So 13.6 evo 
not bad for the Tremor Stones, or at least that's what it's looking here. Hey, Kashnomo, good evening to you as well, or whatever time of day it is out of your direction. Regardless, I hope it's going well. And there we go. Hopefully the rest of the floor here a little more bearable. I mean, it helps that potentially a lot of the enemies that were wandering around got teleported to us. So kind of just got to rip off the band-aid there. <laughs> or, you know, more convokers, convoking convokers. That's cool too. Um, well, we're probably gaining piety at a decent rate here. So I actually feel okay. Just dealing four again. And there we go. The degeneration actually getting these sons of guns. Polymorph there a little bit. That works out fantastic. And there we go. You know, going into this this evening, I was looking at our, our character overall here. And I was feeling pretty good, seeing as how we have 44 AC. I thought we'd at least be able to tap through the next little while here without too much of a care about anything. But again, taking surprising lumps from these sons of guns. Ooh, I guess I could take a Morning Star of Holy Wrath. Now that's a little interesting. We have six enchant weapon scrolls, so we could max this son of a gun out. Would be losing our willpower if we take off the one we're currently wielding, but that definitely seems nice for taking out a lot of the undead threats that this game can throw at us. I'm going to carry it around for a little bit. I don't think we need our plus 10 plate anymore, seeing as how the orange scale mail has pretty much thrown that into the wind. And in keeping with tradition here, we get another piece of armor with willpower on it. This character has more willpower than they know what to do with. Decreases our AC by 19, which is rough, but I'm always tempted. The dream is to have every slot that has the possibility to be a regen ego, having regen. It's a pretty sweet overall look, but don't know if we can swing it with that much of a reduction in our defenses here, seeing as how we have to bash our face into everything at the moment. I mean, the flip side of that is that it would potentially open us up to, uh, to spell casting a little bit more. So there is that. You know, now that I've said it out loud, I'm thinking about it. Something I try to be on my toes with, especially when playing a Knoll, it's super easy to pivot into other styles of builds. So usually it's at least worth it to, to entertain the thought, even if you don't end up committing fully. In fact, I'm just slightly curious now. Let's head that direction. Let us. Any shields in the game? I think we just had this buckler. At least for enchanted shields. It is currently giving us our colder resistance. We could, I guess, start thinking about kite and tower. Wish they were magical. Still should keep it in mind, though, because if the cold resistance isn't really doing it for us at some point in the game, then it's probably worth the extra shielding, especially with the Reflection Brand Amulet. It can oftentimes be pretty nice. But let us just do a looky-loo here. How good of a spell can I cast in this? I mean, we could get Vile Clutch up. Oh... That is an interesting proposition. I feel like I'm in the headspace of a tab, like centric character, and so it's slightly concerning to try and switch up gears now, because I feel like I'm gonna accidentally tab myself into an untenable situation, as we do. I'm also very close to something like Stormform being up. Definitely, if it got us some of these heavy hitters here, it would be a much easier decision to make. In fact, let's keep fooling around here. Let's go back to wizardry and see how that's looking. That does get us the level 7 spells, kind of. 34% failure, probably a little higher than we would like. It's interesting at the very least. Let's learn Vile Clutch. 
can give it a little bit of a tester run here. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to switch back to the fire ring. And we can, again, take a peek at that. We'll see how it goes here. I just have to remember, A, to keep putting my mouse out of the way. That's always important. But B, do not tap face first into every single fight. Convokers on Convokers. Definitely the uh, the theme of the run here. And there we go. Let's reach out and grab all of you. That at least should help out slightly here, and we can kind of keep hanging it off of the various new friends as they come up. In fact, there we go. A triple is beautiful. Um... I am, yeah, slightly concerned about this warden. Oh, don't don't call more friends. Oh no. We're gonna deal four real quick here, just mostly to prevent this son of a gun from doing their thing. Beautiful. And that at least clears the air for now. How am I feeling about this overall? I don't know if it's much better than what we were already doing, unfortunately. So we might have to just swap back. And I believe even with Wizardry, BBC, yeah, it's a little bit outside of our range here. Unfortunately, we don't really have the strength to be wearing end casting in this armor. Jeez Louise. And Call Lightning definitely being a slight issue there for us. Bit of a thorn in our side. Ooh, let's take these friends on a little bit of a hike, split them up, fantastic, and Crystal Guardian on their own shouldn't be too much of an issue, and indeed, they go down without too much of a fight, so that is fantastic.